So you want me to explain in plain language how image AI works. Okay. So the first thing you need to train an AI is data, lots and lots of data. Luckily, the AI in the OpenAI project can just use data from Google, which is a lot of data. So it gets fed an uncountable amount of images, like just more than you could possibly imagine. And all of those images have descriptors. Is this picture light? Is this picture red? Is this a picture of a cat? Like it's the same descriptors that are basically being used when you use Google image search. And then it takes the pictures with the same descriptors and it compares them to each other and it looks for similarities. Now here's the thing, the AI is stupid. It has no concept of what red is or what a curved line is or anything like that. It's just looking through the zeros and ones of the data but it could find patterns that we can't even find. And so eventually when it's trained on literally this immeasurable amount of pictures, it will find patterns in the data of every picture of a cat it's seen. And then eventually if you ask it to recreate those patterns, it will come up with essentially a totally new picture of a cat. Now the problem is there are lots of patterns that don't really correspond to what the image looks like. That's why a lot of AI images are nightmare fuel and a lot of AI stories are nonsense. But the thing is, you can keep training it. If you generate nightmare fuel, you could feed that nightmare fuel back into the AI and say, no, this isn't a picture of a cat. And it will start to learn what patterns of data don't go into making something that realistically looks like a cat. Same thing goes for when you successfully create an image of a cat. You feed that back in and it's like, okay, these are the important patterns. And you just keep doing this until it recognizes the patterns you want it to recognize. And then it could feed those patterns back to you to say, create a new image. And that's essentially a very simplified version of how these AIs work.